गाइस वेलकम टू द मोबाइल सेंट्रल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रियलमी सेवन आई टुडे रियलमी इज फास्ट बिकमिंग अ ग्रेट बजट फोन मैन्युफैक्चरर एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली पुशिंग आउट सम अमेजिंग बजट फोन लेटेस्ट ऑफरिंग फ्रॉम रियलमी इज द रियलमी सेवन सीरीज ऑफ स्मार्ट फोन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ रियलमी सेवन रियलमी सेवन प्रो एंड रियलमी सेवन आई We already unboxed and reviewed the Realme 7 and now I have got Realme 7i which was recently launched in the UAE. So let us compare the Realme 7i with the Realme 7 since they are very close to each other in terms of their pricing and let us see which of these phones should you consider. We will talk about five main components those are important to any smartphone. We'll talk about the form factor and design. We'll get into the display on these phones. We'll also look at the battery life that comes out of these phones. Then we'll get into the camera, and then towards the end, we will talk about the overall performance because both of these phones, no matter how similar they are, have very different processors inside. So let's get started, and let's start with the form factor and design. When you look at the design and the form factor, Realme 7 and Realme 7i both are almost identical in terms of their footprint and size. except a minimal difference in their weight since the Realme 7 weighs only 8 grams heavier than the Realme 7i both have plastic back that is slightly different in design and both of these phones have plastic body construction which feels perfect for the price and has no visible signs of weaknesses in fact the construction feels solid on both of these phones and makes it look really nice to hold in the hand Fingerprint scanner placement on Realme 7 is embedded in the power button versus at the back on the Realme 7i. Both implementations have their pros and cons, but I will side with Realme 7's side-mounted implementation as it is easy to unlock while the phone is sitting on a desk for example. Talking about the display, this is one big differentiating factor between these two phones and could be a deciding point for a lot of buyers out there who watch a lot of video content on their smartphones both of these phones have exact same size display measuring at 6.5 inches and possess an LCD panel with a high refresh rate of 90 hertz that being said the Realme 7i has one weakness here and that is the display resolution Realme 7i comes with a 720p resolution versus 1080p on Realme 7 now this like i said may become a deciding factor and you would be better off with the Realme 7 in case you watch a lot of content on your smartphone because it impacts everything like for example on youtube you can go only as high as 720p because the display won't support me on that or also the gaming the gaming resolution will be better on the realme 7 however looking at these displays individually in isolation both displays perform well in terms of color reproduction and have decent brightness to get a good visibility in brighter conditions you get usual support from the software to adjust the display tone to your liking and overall except the lower resolution Realme 7i has a decent display for day to day usage moving on let us look at the battery life both of these phones come equipped with the same size battery cell that measures at 5000 mAh and you will be really satisfied with the battery life on either of these phones in fact Realme 7i has a slightly better battery life compared to Realme 7 that is because the display on Realme 7i maxes out at 720p resolution and Realme 7 comes with a 1080p resolution so as we all know the lower resolution display consumes lesser power and hence gives you better battery life comparing the charging speeds when you run out of juice on these phones you get an 18 watt charger with Realme 7i but Realme 7 comes with a 30 watt charger instead so charging speeds are going to be almost twice as fast on the Realme 7 when you compare it with the Realme 7i let's focus on the camera now both of these phones again come with an identical quad camera setup that include a 64 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide camera 2 megapixel macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor and for selfie duties you get the same 16 megapixel sensor up front but realme 7i loses out on video capabilities and can go only as i has 1080p at 30 frames per second but realme 7 can record in 4k 30 frames per second none of these cameras have any kind of ois but eis does a good job in keeping the footage smooth while you record videos when you're walking around or running around with respect to pictures though picture quality from the main 64 megapixel lens is brilliant. and you get really good quality images during the daytime 
colors look great. Details are brilliant. Focusing is on point and HDR control mechanism is good too. You will be really happy to see the output from the phone in this price range. But keep in mind that Realme is shipping Realme 7 with a 48 megapixel sensor in the EU region. So do check the specs for your region before pulling the trigger to see what you're getting in your region. Low light imagery on these phones is kind of okay and doesn't match the output you see in the daytime pics. You will get decent shots most of the time, but at time it does falter and loses the noise control. Night mode helps to an extent to get you pretty good pictures in dimly lit scenarios indoors and outdoors. You also get a pro mode to play with the camera settings and click a desired picture in case you are into all of that. So now it's time for us to get into the performance of these phones. Unlike their other similarities, both of these phones come with completely different processors. Realme 7i comes with a Snapdragon 662 chipset and Realme 7 comes with a Helio G95 gaming focus chipset. I had mentioned in my Realme 7 review that I was really surprised with the Helio processor on Realme 7. That processor performed really well for me personally, including heavy duty games. But I cannot say the same thing about Snapdragon 662 on Realme 7i, because the gaming performance on Realme 7i is really bad. All the games, pretty much casual ones or the intensive ones, kind of sort of lag all times and you wouldn't be happy with the gaming performance on this phone. About the overall software performance, both of these phones run on top of Android 10 with Realme UI on the top. Realme UI feels similar to stock Android when you scroll through certain apps and notification panel. But when you dig deep, you see the elements of Realme UI which adds multiple features to the phone. You get usual Realme goodies such as phone clone, sidebar for quick app launch, swipe down to search, etc. So yeah, it is loaded with tons of additional features, including a dedicated gaming mode, which basically just puts off the notifications for you to enjoy your game without any distractions. By the way, an important thing to note that if you need an FM radio, then do keep in mind that Realme 7i doesn't have that and it is only available on Realme 7. So after looking at these offerings closely, I think if you need a phone to perform basic duties, you are good with Realme 7i. But if you want to go a little further and use a phone for watching a lot of content and gaming, then Realme 7 would be a better buy for you. Overall, by spending a little extra, you get a higher resolution display and a faster charger in the box. Otherwise, both phones are pretty equal in terms of their overall package. Hit a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe if you want to watch more of my content. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.